Alright, we're still in chapter 1.6 and we're talking about domain and range of a function. Okay, so here we have a function. Put any coordinates here. Right, put any input, output variables <coughs> or independent or dependent variables. And you can't quite see the one, so I'll skew it on over. Okay, <coughs> so when we're talking about domain, we're talking about this place where we live, it's the domain. And we're always talking about the input variable or the independent variable. And it's pretty much always the horizontal variable. Okay? In this case, I have it labeled as x. Alright, our good friend x. Okay, so when I'm looking at domain, I'm just looking at what x can be. Alright? Well, I start off looking at my function, and I see that, well, my function, okay, it goes off in this direction, and the arrow indicates it goes on forever. So since it's got the arrow there, it can go on forever. It means that all x values work, at least in the negative direction. I could put in a negative 50, a negative 2 million, a negative 275,432,000,000. Okay? Basically, I can go to negative infinity. So my x value, as long as it's greater, can you see that? The negative infinity, I'm good. Okay? I have a terribly, terribly clean board here. All right, so now I start going in the other direction and say, oh, you know what, I get over here and I have a limitation. Look at this. Right here. My x never gets to be more than 4. Okay? Can't be a 5. I can't input a 6. I can never input anything more than a 4. And I know that I can input a 4 because where it stops, it's got the solid dot. If it was an open dot, it would mean it could get really close to, but it can't include that 4 value. But anyway, it has to be somewhere between negative infinity and 4. So I put this center equal to 4. Okay? So that's my domain. Alright? Now the range is, just like when you go out with a bow and arrow, you go out to the range. You see how far you can go. Okay? So I'm going to look at my range here. When I look at my range, I'm looking at the dependent variable. Okay? Or the output variable. In this case, it's y, or I could call it the vertical axis variable. All right, I'm just looking at the minimum values that it can be and the maximum values that it can be. And I start off in the minimum, and I go looking at this function, going, well, what's happening? Well, right here is as low as I'm going to go. It never dips below that negative 5. Okay? So I've got a limitation here of negative 5. It's got to be less than that negative 5. Or, excuse me, greater than that negative 5. It never gets less than that negative 5. It's always greater than. Then when I'm going up in this direction, I see that, you know, this arrow means it goes on forever. It's constantly getting... You can really see my hand when it gets off camera, right? It's going forever. Okay? It's going to go all the way up to infinity. Keep going and going and going. So... My range is going to be bet somewhere between negative 5 and infinity, while my domain is between negative infinity and 4.